Hey guys, Sean, less of the Verdummies. Salt Supply, S2, a real one, unmodified. Well, mostly unmodified, I've just removed, it has a factory spring, undrilled restrictor, and um, I've just removed the bolt stop to give that bolt just a little bit extra of travel. Um, that is the marker I'm going to use today to test three different CO2s. CO2s have been beat to death. Um, even I have done some videos a while ago, you know, weighing CO2s and this, that, and the other. Um, bottom line is, well, CO2s, 12 grams specifically, contain 12 grams of CO2. That is how CO2 is measured. So it's measured in weight. Uh, They all contain CO2. Thanks Mike at Chicago Less Lethal for a link that he dropped in the Facebook group and I will put it down in the video description um, of an article where they tested many different types of CO2, uh, different brands. Um, there are two parts to this article, there's two links. And third link hasn't popped up yet, um, which is gonna include Umarex brand and I think you know, I want to see that, and I think a lot of you do too. Um, but the synopsis of that, the two articles that are there, is Daisy CO2s, which I have right here, um, were consistent in their uh, weight, but they were under 12 grams of CO2, averaged under 12 grams of CO2. Uh, Crossman's were... I believe averaged above 12 grams, but the inconsistencies were like from like 11 to 12 and a half grams. Um, just thinking off the top of my head, the one that stood out was Gamo actually. Gamo consistently was above 12 grams. Um, their average was really good. And I think that's probably one of the ones I'm gonna try next. But in any case, I'm just, my my um, test subjects here, I got one of each, essentially. Um, so the sample size is obviously very small and I don't have all of them. I'm just doing the ones I got um, because it's been a while since I had Daisy and then I dug out this box of Bernas, which I believe are Lisp brand. Um, it doesn't, they're unbranded. I'll show you guys on the table here. And then I have my unbranded local CO2s that I buy here. Um, these are food grade. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's just weigh them up. I'm gonna shoot them. I'm gonna give some time in between each CO2 uh, so that the marker can warm up. I'm thinking maybe 20 minutes. I don't wanna make this thing go all night. Uh, and uh, write the weights down before and after and, and see. Oh, one other thing um, that I remember about that article. Just go check it out. But was Crossman CO2s actually the CO2 canister itself? They were like, had like an extra two grams of steel in them. Um, so the casing is much thicker. So you can't just go by the weight um, starting out, you know, like the net weight. Uh, you really gotta shoot it, then weigh it. You can't compare brands just by dropping them on the scale. So let's get to it. Okay, so here are the three we have. This is my uh, food grade that I buy locally, Daisy and um, Burna, which I believe is Liss brand. Hopefully it zooms in there. There we go. You can see the foil on these two does seem, well, I don't know. I really don't know. If they shoot, they shoot. <laughs> um, the necks are a lot different. So this Berna does have a narrowed neck, but I mean, look at the Daisy. This Daisy here is very slim. And then my no-name brand here has about the same, but the, ne it, it, the, the neck is shorter, yeah? All right, let's weigh these. Objective jabber. Okay, 
I'm gonna write them down. So this is the Berna brand. I'm just gonna write, well, let's just write the list. Starting weight, 42.45 grams. No name, food grade, locally purchased CO2. We're just gonna call it food grade. Forty-one point one zero grams, and Daisy, Daisy, is forty point five zero grams. Good enough. Um, I will be using the salt, as I mentioned. I will be using, uh, I'm just gonna shoot, well, yeah, I'll put six in. Um, six Grimberg Jewel V2s, they are eight grams, and I'm going to reuse the same projectiles for each CO2. So I'll load up the Daisy first. Put a little drop of oil on there. Let's get shooting. All right, so we got Grimberg Jewels loaded up. I've decided actually, I'm only gonna do five. Uh, and the reason is, is I'm gonna record the FPS uh, beside the CO2. And, uh, you know, then I can get an average, you know, just a little more extra data is all. So pardon me while I'm, I shoot, and then I'm gonna lean in and write the velocity down. So here we go. Launcher, Daisy. Two thirty eight. Two thirty six. Two thirty. 226. Last shot. 220. 220. And I'm literally just gonna waste the CO2. I'm just gonna crack it. I ain't got all night. Um, yeah. I am gonna let this marker, marker warm up anyways, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, that was a day. Back in 15. Last time, 15 minutes. So I should also mention all the CO2s have just been acclimated to the same. They've been sitting on the table for the same amount of time. Uh, marker is now warm to the touch. Well, as warm as it's gonna be. So we are going food grade CO2 this time. Uh, remember drills are already loaded up. Let's go. Well, first I need my chronograph. There it is. Two, a four to four. Two thirty four. Two thirty. Before I forget, I better take that CO two out of there. There it is. The Daisy. I can. This one. I. I yes, I forgot. I tossed it in the CO two bin, but I can feel it's still cold because I need to weigh it when I'm done. Two twenty six. Two twenty. How are you doing that, guys? <laughs> this time I won't throw it in the bin. 
This is a food grade, so I'll put it on the table here. 15 minutes. Last but not least, burnout list. Same five projectiles loaded up. Two forty six. Two thirty eight. Two thirty four. 232. Okay, well, let's do some simple math and uh, I'll get some averages and some weights, and we'll just see what the heck is really going on. Alrighty then, well, I've gone ahead and done the calculations, so this is all my scribbles here. Um, this is what's important. Subtracting the, the start weight and the empty weight for all of them and averaging the FPS, this is what I came to. So the list, the Berna brand contained 11.80, that's a zero, 11.80 grams of CO2 and had an average uh, velocity feet per second of 234. My food grades contained 12.38 grams of CO2 average Velocity in feet per second, 230. Daisy contained 11.70 grams of CO2 with an average velocity in feet per second of 230 feet per second. So isn't that interesting that even though my food grade contained more CO2, it averaged lower. I mean, there are some uh, environmental differences. Yes, I gave... 15 minutes between the marker, you know, firing the first one here. So, you know, you could argue that it's not fully warmed up. But what do I really see here? What do you really see here? It probably this amount. So the actual weight of CO2 in the cartridge probably amounts more to your shot count than anything else. Velocity, one was four FPS higher average. That's nothing. Um, if I saw a 10 to 15 feet per second difference, I would argue that that was something to look into. Uh, but this tells me CO2 is CO2, guys. Use what works for you. Some markers puncture better, uh, certain brands and others. Something that you probably did note though was, so food grade, and actually, well, the list was only one tick higher than the daisy, but it had the highest first shot. Even though I shot the daisy first, so this is the first CO2 I shot. You can see the average, it's pretty good, just looking at it. It didn't start out crazy high, but stayed very consistent. This one started out the highest, but in the end, it all works out to be the same. So use what works for you guys. I'm not gonna get too crazy and do a whole bunch more. Read the articles. The links that I put in the description, super interesting read. Uh, not boring at all if you're a bit of a, a gas nerd. Um, but it's straight and to the point, very easy to read. And well, my own tests tell me, who cares? Who cares what CO2 I put in? Until next time.